It's the little details that count. That one little bit extra, repeated, time after time, that extra hour, the extra reps, the extra little bit of effort, that little extra, with consistency adds up to a massive difference. Let me talk to you today about the principle of one thing. Committing every day to do one thing extra that will take you closer to your dream life, closer to that big goal you have. Now before we begin, it is most important that you first have a very clear picture of your dream life, a clearly defined goal. After all, you can't hit a target you can't see. And you certainly won't arrive at your destination if you don't know where that place is. So take a moment, a day, a week, however long it takes you, and write it down very clearly what your perfect life would look like. What would your health be like? Your energy levels, your physical body, define it clearly. What would your relationships be like? Friendships, love everything define it clearly how much money would you be earning and how would you be earning it what would light you up and pay you well at the same time be very specific now you have your targets but how are you going to hit them let's start by committing every single day to do one thing that will take you closer to each major goal you have in your life no matter how small that step will be, no matter what disasters and obstacles step in your way, no excuses. Commit this to yourself. This is your life we're talking about. Nothing is more important. Make a commitment to go 100% all in. If I'm tired, no excuses. I will still do one thing. If I don't feel like it, no excuses. I will do one thing. No excuses. Commit this to yourself. If I feel it's going nowhere, no excuses. I will do one thing. I can even change my approach, but I will not stop working toward the life I really want to live. The principle behind the commitment is to build momentum. It is also to build a habit of consistency, a habit that you will find in all successful people. It's always just that little bit extra that makes a big difference in the end. Just that one thing done every day that adds up and compounds on itself until one day you don't even recognize the person you see in the mirror. The changes can be that great, but only if you make the commitment. Are you prepared to make that commitment? Make a commitment to go 100% all in. It's the little details that count. That one little bit extra repeated time after time. That extra hour, the extra reps. The extra little bit of effort. That little extra with consistency adds up to a massive difference. One thing, just that little bit extra. That's what separates the hopeful from the loss. The success from the failure. That's what builds character, forms a powerful habit. That's the difference. Just that little extra. They said I couldn't. They said I wouldn't. They said they didn't believe in me. They said I couldn't because of my circumstances. I couldn't because of my past. Because it hadn't been done before. I said, so what? You can complain and remain the same, or you can decide, commit, and work towards becoming someone that no one thought you could be. You can make all the excuses in the world. We've heard them all. But those that get on in life, leave the excuses and look for the possibilities. You might have had it tough, you might have had it real tough, but it ain't getting any better if you live there. You have to drop the little story and work towards your masterpiece. You see it so often, stories of those with almost identical painful life circumstances. 
One chooses to live in the pain forever, repeating the reasons why they can't succeed, why they can't move on. The other uses the pain as their reason why they must change. They use their pain as strength. They use the people who don't believe in them as motivation to succeed, not a reason why they can't. When things don't go their way, they don't say, why me? They say, so what? They say, try me. When things don't go their way, they keep moving forward. Your family isn't perfect, so what? You failed in your past, so what? You didn't get to go to college, so what? You don't know where to start, so what? Someone did wrong by you, so what? Most people seem to think that life is against them somehow. Very few understand life is challenging, that is all. I accept life's challenge. I plan to work on myself so I can win. Not just one day, but every day. So what they don't believe in you? You don't need them to believe in you. They're not doing the work, you are. They're not growing and learning, you are. They're not committed to your dream, you are. They're not in love with your vision, you are. They don't define your success, you do. They don't decide if you will put in the work required to make it, you do. Nobody gets a perfect life. Every one of us face different challenges. That is life. You're not punishing anyone but yourself with your excuses. You're holding yourself back, no one else. You choose. Be the victim or the victor. You choose to be the one who gave up because of their problems or the one who succeeded despite their challenges. You choose. Successful people don't always feel like it. They do it anyway. Take the first step. Get some momentum. Don't ever stop working for your dream. If you really want it, you will plan for it. If you really want it, you will work for it. If you really want it, you will sacrifice for it. So what life hasn't gone as planned? It doesn't for anyone. All the pain that's in the past. Do you want to drag it into your future too? You have that choice. You can remain the victim and live in the pain for the rest of your days. Or you can drop it like a hot potato and move on with your life. Leave the pain behind and focus on building your future full of possibilities, full of growth. Push yourself. Surprise yourself. See how far you can go with your life. What if you got the opportunity to start over? To go back. To learn from every mistake. To scrape every lesson from your past. And start with a clean slate. What would you do differently? What lessons have you learned in your past? And how would you apply them if you could start over? What if you had another opportunity to do better? to be better, would you take it? You get that opportunity every day. We all get that opportunity every day. It's called waking up. Every day you wake up is a blessing and you should never take that blessing for granted. You can choose to start over. You can choose today to do better. You can choose to live with a clean slate, which means you let go of your past and focus on now, right now. What are you going to do right now to create a better future for yourself? What plans are you going to make now for today and in the future to ensure this new version of you is better than the last? Will your future self be proud of you. 
Will your tomorrow self be proud of you by the work you do today, by the person you are today? You have to earn that future pride. If you're not putting in the work today, your future will pay the price. Let go of who you were. If you don't, you'll never know who you truly can be. Let go of who you were and focus on who you will become. Every morning you wake up, remind yourself that you have another opportunity to experience your greatest day. Another opportunity to push yourself. Another opportunity to set an example. Another opportunity to learn something that will make you better. Another opportunity to enjoy the day, to enjoy other people, to enjoy life. You are blessed to get the opportunity of life. Make the most of it. Create the best version of you. Start today. Think for a moment about a movie scene, one that really moved you, a movie that you really felt deeply, really felt emotionally. Think about all your favorite movies, all the top movies and top actors. In the great movies, those who really connect with you emotionally, the movies that really move you, the actors are not acting. The actors become the character. The great actors don't need to act because they become the character they are playing. That's exactly what you need to do. If you want to have great success and live a great life, you have to become someone else. You have to become someone nobody thought you could be. Not even you. You have to leave the little mind mentality you grew up with. You have to drop the negativity you have towards successful people. Drop the negativity you have towards hard work. And drop the negativity you have towards sacrifice. You must rise into this new person. You will not stop until you become everything you ever dreamed of. And so much more. That kind of person doesn't procrastinate. They just do. They just dive in head first. They learn the lessons. They apply the lessons and turn them into blessings. That type of person doesn't stop at failure. They don't stop at any number of setbacks. They find solutions. They are always learning, listening, and growing. And they are certainly never stopping. Rest if you must. Don't you dare stop. That type of person doesn't listen to others' opinions. Unless, unless they are valuable. Listen. Sometimes you have to take on criticism and apply it. You must be smart and strong enough to ignore the haters and ignore the negativity that is not valuable. Some people just hate for no reason. Focus all your energy on your end goal. That type of person makes priorities. They choose to learn over party. They choose to work out over sleep in. They choose to give time to things that take them closer to their goals, not further away. That type of person is honest. They are honest with themselves and where they are in life and take responsibility for closing the gap. They are honest with others and always live and act with integrity, knowing you can never be successful living a lie or living your life trying to be someone else. I know you're tired, but what if you could give more? I know they don't believe in you, but what if you believed in you? Who could you become if you started to back yourself? No, it's not easy being great. It's pretty straightforward, but it's never easy. You sacrifice, you take responsibility, you prioritize, you follow your gut, 
You keep going and you work your guts out. That's it. Simple principles that only those with true character live by. Do you have character? And if you have it, what are you going to do about it? You can develop that strength. You can form new habits. If you don't like where you are, do something about it. Don't complain about it if you're not willing to work for it. Step by step, you can become someone no one thought you would be. Not even you. Step by step, you can grow. Grow into someone who makes a difference. Grow into someone who sets the example. Grow into someone who inspires through action, through example, through undeniable results. I know you can only see darkness, but I need you to believe in the light. I know you're tired, but what if you could dig deeper inside? What if you could find more? I know you have more. I know you are greater than this. Don't you dare waste this life. You can become anyone. Grow into that person. Grow through consistency. Grow through action. If you don't like where you are, do something about it. Don't complain about it if you aren't willing to work for it. You will show them. You will show them through action, through hard work and dedication, through belief and sacrifice, through heart and courage. Step by step, you can become someone no one thought you would be. Not even you. Don't you get it? This world needs you. People that you know need you. People you've never even met need you. They need you to rise. They need you to rise so they can rise. They need you to fight so they have fight. They need you to become someone so they can be someone. You will show the world. You will show the world through your example. You will become someone nobody thought you could. Become that person. Be that person. Listen to me. You're down, but you're not out. I don't think you heard me. You've been knocked down, but you have not been knocked out. Get up. Get up! Whatever you're going through, it is temporary. It is not permanent unless you let it be. This challenge was not sent to destroy you. It was sent to define you. Everything comes down to you. Your choices, the meaning you give to every moment in your life. Get up! You'll never find the answers you need down there. You'll never reach the peak of your life down there. Get up and keep climbing. Keep climbing up that mountain. I promise you, the views, when you reach the peak, it will be worth it. The views from the top will be worth it because you know how it feels at the bottom. You have seen the darkness. Now it's time to earn the light. You have felt the pain. Now it's time to feel the blessings. You could have drowned in your own tears, but soon you will be showered with greatness. Get up, use the pain. Don't let it use you. Turn your pain into power. You decide how this moment defines your life. You decide how this moment defines your future. Will you use the pain or will the pain push you back? Are you going to cry about it or conquer it? This is not a problem. It is a challenge. Persist through this challenge. On the other side is your pride. Do not let your pain go to waste. Those tears meant something. They were created to make you feel something. Something that will snap you out of this sorry state. Get up. Enough is enough. Get up. Make a plan. Fight for the life you must have. You at the bottom, but you do not have to stay there. Let this moment change you. Let this be your defining moment. Never forget this moment. This is the moment that changed everything. Fight for that life. Know where you're targeting. Know how you will get there and get moving. Keep climbing. Sometimes it takes 10 years to get that one year that will change your life. Just keep going. Remain consistent. Consistent in your work ethic. Consistent in what you stand for. Consistently showing up every single day. Rain, hail, or shine. 
when everything is great and when nothing is. Keep showing up. You said you tried and it didn't work. You said you did everything. You read the books. You put in the work. And it still didn't work. When did anyone say it only took one try? Two, five, ten tries. When did any successful person mention that you only need to give your best effort for one month? Then you'll be successful. When did any great person mention they only gave their all for six months or any period of time? When did anyone say giving up will get you closer to your goal? I'll tell you when. Never! If you think you only need to give your best for a year and then you can live the rest of your life successful, well, you've lost your mind. If you want to make your dream reality, you have to be consistent. Consistent is also known as every single day. It never ends. It never ends. It's every single day when you feel like it, when you don't, when you're getting results, when you're not, when someone is watching, when they're not, when they believe in you, when they don't, when you believe in yourself, when you don't, when it all seems possible, when it all appears impossible. It's every single day. If you want a great body, it's every day. If you want to improve your finances, it's every day. If you want a great life, it's every day. Every day learning. Every day putting in the hours. Every day working harder than yesterday. Every day believing it's going to come. Every day consistent. Even when it seems there's no hope in hell, you believe one day you'll be in heaven on this earth. The quote doesn't say we become what we do sometimes. The quote doesn't say we become what we do when we feel like it. The quote doesn't say we become what we do for a short time before we eventually give up. The quote says we become what we do consistently. I become what I do consistently. And you can also say I will become what I do and what I believe every day, day in, day out. Consistency is the key to success in life, in the gym, in your growth, in your finances, in your relationships. It is essential. You will not become great unless you are consistent. If you want a great body, it's every day. If you want to improve your finances, it's every day. If you want a great life, it's every day. Every day learn, every day putting in the hours. Every day working harder than yesterday. Every day believing it's going to come true. Every day believing it's going to come. Every day consistent. I become what I do consistently. I will become what I do and what I believe every day. Day in, day out. Consistency is the key to success in life. You will not become great unless you are consistent. Sometimes it takes 10 years to get that one year that will change your life. Just keep going. Remain consistent. Consistent in your work ethic. Consistent in what you stand for. Consistently showing up every single day. Rain, hail, or shine. When everything is great and when nothing is, keep showing up. If there's ever been one thing that separates the best from the unknown, that one thing is self-belief. If you don't believe you can do it, you'll never try, and you will die never knowing how far you could have gone. Belief in yourself, belief after failure, belief when all others doubt, relentless belief that you will get to your target no matter what. That is what will see you achieve when there is no talent, 
Belief is what will see you achieve when there is no support. See, no belief around you is needed when there is belief within you. Tell yourself every day, I know I will get to my target. There is no doubt. Zero. I will get to my target. I will. I know I will make it. There's not an ounce of doubt in my mind. No matter how many times I am beaten down, defeated, ridiculed, rejected, doubted, I do not care. I know my target. And I know in my heart, no matter how long it may take, no matter how dark the path, no matter the pain, I will fight, I will claw, I will adjust, and I will win. There is nothing on this earth that I will allow to defeat me. My mind is strong. My mind is stronger than all others. Never will I be broken. Never will I stray from my goals. Never will I break from my purpose in life. No one knows my heart. They can doubt me. They don't know my heart. They can tell me it's impossible. Those are their limits, not mine. Life can beat me to my knees. It only makes me stronger. I am unbreakable. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I am unbreakable. I am unbreakable. I am unbreakable. The strength that lies in my heart is like no other. The determination that lives inside me is equal to no other every day. I wake up, I promise myself, I will make it, and I never break a promise I make to myself. I am unbreakable. I am unbreakable. I am unbreakable. Life can beat me to my knees. It only makes me stronger. I am unbreakable. I know I will get to my target. There is no doubt. Zero. I will get to my target. I will. I know I will make it. There's not an ounce of doubt in my mind. No matter how many times I am beaten down, defeated, ridiculed, rejected, doubted, I do not care. I know my target, and I know in my heart, no matter how long it may take, no matter how dark the path, no matter the pain, I will fight, I will claw, I will adjust, and I will win. The problem is, most people are too scared to even start. They come up with all sorts of excuses about why they can't win, why they won't succeed. They'll say things like, other people are already doing it. Someone has already done it. Sure, your passion might not be easy to get into. The business you want to start may be very difficult to succeed in. It might be a crowded space, but it's never crowded at the top. There's always room for the best. There's always room for the best. And you know what? There is always room to get better. Even when you become the best, that is what the best do. They are always growing, always reinventing themselves. That is why they're the best. They are obsessed, positively obsessed with reaching the very maximum of their potential. And when they get there, they understand there is always another level. If one mountain is conquered, they find a bigger mountain, a greater challenge. Before 1984, there were many great basketball players playing in the NBA. The percentage of players that didn't make it was much higher than those who did. But that didn't stop a man named Michael Jordan. Because there was always room for the best. Whatever your passion, if you are committed to mastering, if you are committed to become the leader, if you are committed to become the very best at what you do, you will succeed. If you refuse to quit until you win, there's no way you can't win in the end. But most people won't even start. And of the people that do start, most of those will quit far too soon. They'll see all the obstacles as unbreakable barriers, rather than the mere hurdles and lessons they were sent for. They see the big companies as undefeatable giants, 
rather than viewing them as a Goliath. When they are the David to that Goliath, you can defeat anyone or any group of people if you're committed to be the very best. What can you do different? What can you do better? Are you willing to suffer now to live with that pride later? Aim high, believe big. It is never crowded at the top. Stop being afraid of what could go wrong and start getting excited about what could go right. If you're focusing on problems, you will see more problems. If you focus on possibilities, you will see more opportunities. So focus on the possibilities and be ready for the opportunities that are coming in the future by doing the work now. There is always room for the best. If you are committed to master it, if you are committed to become the leader, if you are committed to become the very best at what you do, you will succeed. If you don't at the very least believe it is possible to be the best in your field, don't even try. At the very least, you have to have that belief and ambition that it is possible. You've got to at least try to offer something better than anyone else does it. Something different from the rest. If you don't, you'll never be the best. You've got to put in that work. Master your craft. You can do it. It is not impossible. If you refuse to quit until you win, there's no way you can't win in the end. Tell them to make room for you. Make room for the best. And then get to work and earn that spot. If they tell you 99% fail, don't lose faith. Believe you are in that 1%. No, without doubt, you will be in the 1%. Maybe not right now, maybe not tomorrow, but in the end, you will win because you refuse to settle for anything else. There is always room for the best. No matter how big your dreams are, there is always room for the best. I know when people start setting out their dreams, the number one thing that they worry about is whether or not they're actually going to be able to make those dreams come true. They look at people who are extraordinary and they think, I could never do that. They look at the field before them and they think it's already crowded. There are too many people in here. I'm never going to be able to make my voice heard. But the reality is, there's always room for whoever can outperform the other people. And so the focus should never be on getting the goal, reaching the dream. It should always be on getting better every day. Once you switch your mind from winning a championship over to being capable of a championship performance, all of a sudden everything in your life changes because the clarity of what you need to do every day becomes crystal clear. You need to work on your skill set. Between where you are today and where you want to go is a gap. And that gap is a gap of skill set. Once you understand that, and once you spend your time relentlessly pursuing the skills that you need to acquire to get where you want to go, then how you spend your time is very simple. You spend your time practicing with deliberateness the things that you need to get good at in order to outperform everybody else. That's it. Instead of worrying about whether you've got a medallion around your neck, whether you're the gold medal winner, that's completely irrelevant. Are you the best? Are you the best? Can you outperform people? Are you putting in the time and energy? Are you pushing yourself beyond your breaking point? Are you doing everything in your power to get better? That is the key. That is the thing that separates the good from the great. 
The people who switch their mind off from being something and focus entirely on becoming something, on getting great, on really identifying where their weaknesses are, what they're going to have to improve at in order to perform at that level. When you hunger for that, when you just want the skills, because you want to be able to perform at something, you want to be able to do something, create something, build something in this world, then you're going to make your dreams come true. But until that point, if all you're thinking about is success, money, fame, you will fail because your time and energy and your attention are on the wrong thing. You're thinking about the trophy. You're not thinking about the skills. You focus on the skills and no matter what, no matter how big your dream, you'll be able to make it come true because there's always room for the best. I'll face whatever challenge is in front of me, and I'll die before accepting defeat. Face your challenges head on. Don't you dare back down. I've always known I was different. I've always known I was destined for something better. Because I've always been prepared to put in the work. Always prepared to face the challenge in front of me. And when I look around, I see almost everyone else isn't prepared to put in the work. They aren't facing the challenges in front of them. They are hiding from them. They are using them as an excuse. They'll complain about everything, but do nothing to change anything. They'll work hard for a day, or maybe a week, or a month. But when things don't go their way, they take the easy way out. They don't find a way. They don't dig deeper inside. They don't fight for their dream. I'll fight for my dream. I'll fight for my potential. I'll fight for everything I want, and I don't settle for less. If that's what you want, great. If you want to take it easy and be comfy, great. That's not me. That's not the life I want. I'm not here to live within your limits. I'm here to push past my own. I'm not here for this level. I'm here to find the next one, to push for the next one, 
to never stop pushing for the next level. I wasn't sent to settle for this. I was born to push for something greater. Can't be done. Challenge accepted. No one has done it before. Challenge accepted. It's impossible. Challenge accepted. Someone is better, stronger, smarter. Challenge accepted. Doubt me, criticize me, belittle me. Challenge accepted. Knocked down, not out. Challenge accepted. At the bottom, no way out. Challenge accepted. Body says no more. Challenge accepted. Whatever the situation, however dark it may seem, challenge accepted. It doesn't matter where I am in life. I never get comfortable. I challenge myself every year to get better. Every month, every week, every day to push harder. I do not accept this is as good as it gets. I do not accept there isn't more to me than this. I know I have more. 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 Challenge accepted. I'll face whatever challenge is in front of me and I'll die before accepting defeat. Face your challenges head on. Don't you dare back down. What do you do when it all seems impossible? What do you do when you don't know what to do? What do you do when you feel there's nothing left inside? What do you do when you doubt everything, including yourself? You rise up, that's what you do. You rise above the negativity, you keep fighting. You find a way to make something happen. Find a way to learn how to get to the next level, even if that level is a tiny step forward. You take that step. You take that first step. I am more than this. I am more than this. I haven't got more because I wasn't hungry enough. Now I'm hungry enough. I am more than hungry. I am starving. Now I must. Now I will. Nothing will stop me. Because I will no longer stop myself. I am more than this. I am more than this. I am more than this! Talk to yourself. Tell yourself I can. Everyone will think you're crazy. Who cares? They'll only think you're crazy until you start achieving everything you set out to achieve. Then they'll ask you for advice. Tell yourself you can. I can do this. I will do this. I am committed. I am disciplined. And I will learn until I find a way. I can do this. I will do this. I am committed. I am disciplined. And I will learn until I find a way. No, it will not be easy. And that is the best part. That is what will create a great story. Me fighting back. From the bottom to the top. Struggle to success. Clawing my way to the top. The character to survive the storm. Not just to survive. Thrive. I have more inside me. I have strength inside me. I have courage inside me. I have it all. I will get it all. You are more than your results to this point in your life. You decide what your future is going to be. And that future has nothing to do with your past. Your past does not decide your future. Your past is gone. It's time for you to decide. It's time for you to declare. Declare you are more. Declare you have more inside you. 
Declare today that you are prepared to go through the mud to get to that next level. To go through the darkness to get to the light. To go through the rain to see the sun shining. To go through hell to find your heaven. Declare it now. I am more than this. I will do more and I will be more. Why did you give up on your dream? Why did you settle? Why? Why did you let that dream go? The dream that meant so much to you, why did you let it go? Was it because you listened to those around you? Those who didn't reach their own dream? Did you listen to them when they opposed their limits on you? They said be realistic. They said take that job. Was it because you had no examples close to you of anyone who actually went after their dream and refused to settle for less? Why did you give up? When you're young, you know without question there are no limits. There's nothing you cannot be. Nothing you cannot accomplish. No heights you cannot scale. You know that. But as time wears on, for most people, life chips away a little more at their soul, chips away at their ambitions, chips away at their belief in themselves. Opinions get inside and poison their soul. This world is filled with smart people who didn't make it. Smart people that lost hope. Smart people that gave up. Smart people who lacked the courage to listen to the voice inside that says yes, I can and instead listen to society who said most people don't most people fail it's too risky play it safe I will not play it safe I refuse to upset less than my potential no it is not too late it's now time to regain your power no it's not too late if you're breathing there is time if you're breathing the time is now. The time is now to live. The time is now to go after the experiences you want to live. The dream you want to see in your reality. The abundance you deserve. The joy and potential that has been laying dormant inside you. It's time to wake up. You are capable. Others before you have done it with less intelligence, with less resources, with less education with less help. There's no excuse that is valid. You just need to sum up the courage to go for it. The strength to fight through setbacks. The persistence to keep going until you see it. And the presence to enjoy it when it comes. Your time is now. In years to come, make sure the question they ask you is not why did you give up on your dream, but how did you make your dream become a reality? Sometimes rock bottom is the greatest gift Because rock bottom, it's the only time people change If things are going okay, people don't change If things are just a little bad, people don't change But when your life is at rock bottom, change is a must 
You don't have to wait for your life to be in ruins. You can just decide right now. Enough is enough. You can decide that this is your lowest moment. Look at all the disgusting, unacceptable parts of your life. Don't hide them. Bring them to the light and the clear. You will change them all right now. If you're hiding them in the darkness where no one can see, you'll never change them. And if you never change them, you'll never experience your full potential. Bring them into the light. Take ownership of it. The disappointment of where it is and the declaration that it will change. You have to declare that this is going to happen. Don't declare it to others. Declare it to yourself. You have to insist it is going to happen. Get disgusted enough where you are right now so you force change. Think about the pain you will feel if you never change. Think about the difference you will make in the lives of those you love if you do change. Through your example, you can change them for the better. If you're not happy with a certain area of your life, change it. Do something about it. Nothing will change unless you do. Nothing will get better until you get better. You've got to say enough. It all changes. And it all changes now. I've had enough. The life I've been living is not good enough. And it's not going to change unless I change. It won't get better unless I get better. You've just got to think, I am not happy with this area. So I'm going to do something about it. Get disgusted. Change doesn't happen when you are content. Change doesn't happen if you refuse to look at what is bothering you. Don't hide it. Bring it to the light. Enough is enough. My standards are higher. I cannot accept this no longer. Enough is enough. If my future is going to be better, I must be better. And I must be better now. I must be better consistently. No more. No more weaknesses. No more limits. No more excuses. No more excuses. No matter what. I will not feel like this again. This is my lowest point. I've had enough. It changes now. Nothing will change unless you do. Nothing will get better until you get better. There's something inside you. Something that must come out. Something that must grow. Something that wants more. Let that something out. Let it grow. You deserve more. It's time to grow more. It's time to make more. It's time to work more. It's time to take more. It's time to say enough. Let go of the limits you were told. They don't apply to you. It's time to create the life you choose. Change isn't going to come about unless you put your foot down. Change will not happen unless it is a must. And it's only going to become a must if you bring all the crap you don't like into the light, then you can go about the business of planning for the life you must have. But it all starts with a decision. It all starts with the courage to make that decision. Declare it now. Don't blame the system, beat the system. Too many people blame the system for where they are in life. They blame the government, they blame the schooling system, they blame their parents, they blame their boss. They blame an event or something that happened in the past. They blame everyone but themselves. They blame everything but their own choices. Somehow, 
They are responsible for their wins. Everyone else is responsible for their losses. If this is you, you must change your mindset immediately. If you want a better quality life, if you want better results in your life, don't blame the system, beat the system. Most people would agree the education system needs to be fixed. But still, there's a great difference in results and achievements from even within the same schools. Most people aren't where they want to be, but there are some people who have exceeded their potential and exceeded all expectations. Same school, different results. One uses the system as an excuse. One succeeds despite it. It's not the education in school that determines our destiny. It's the education in life. It's the self-education and self-awareness that happens after school. Life doesn't end after school and nor should your desire to learn and grow more. Don't blame the system, beat the system. Most of us have parents who, while wanting only the best for us, don't truly understand the path we want to follow. Some blame their parents for holding them back. Some push on and succeed regardless. Don't blame the system, beat the system. The most negativity and finger pointing is to do with the government. So many people blame the government for their problems. Blame the government for their wages. Blame the government for holding them back. Blame the government for everything that is wrong with their life. But there are a small amount of people, let's call them the minority, who ignore the government and focus on improving themselves. What a concept. Don't blame the system, beat the system. The better you become, the better your results. It's not anyone else's fault where you are in life. You are the one who decides what to do with your life, regardless of what happens. As the quote goes, life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to what happens. Rather than complain and blame, learn and grow. Rather than focus on the negative, think about how you can create more positive in your own life through your own self-work. Rather than focusing on all the people that are doing wrong in the world, learn from all the people that are doing right. Learn from those with amazing, abundant lives. Lives similar to that you really want to live. Most people would say the world is set up to make you fail, to keep you small. I refuse to accept that as a truth. The world is set up to be whatever you believe it to be and whatever you work to make your reality. Don't blame the system, beat the system. Don't blame anyone, create your own reality. happy with where they are in life. Most people complain about everything but do nothing to change anything. Most people are living week to week but they can still find some money to party every week. Most people are depressed but they never spend any time working on themselves. Most people have a million things to be grateful for but they focus on the five things they don't like in their life. Most people never realize their true potential. Most people wait until it's too late to realize they could have and should have gone after what they wanted in life. 
I don't know about you, but I don't want to be most people. If I am committed to grow, I will grow. If I refuse to quit, one day I will get it. I want to be an uncommon being. I want to think different, act different, and get different. I must be an uncommon being. I must think different. I must act different. I must get different. I will not live like most people live. I will not accept a below average standard of living. I will never accept where I am is the best I will be. I know if I work for it, if I am consistent in it, if I am dedicated to it, it will come. It will come. If I am committed to grow, I will grow. If I refuse to quit, one day I will get it. More than being just uncommon, I want to be uncommon amongst the uncommon people. I must be the winner amongst winners, the champion of champions, the leader amongst leaders, the greatest of the great. Most people are not happy with where they are in life. Most people complain about everything, but do nothing to change anything. I refuse to live like most. I refuse to settle like most. I don't know if I was born different, but I am committed to be different. I am committed to be more, to shine the light, for others to follow, to break the cycle. Average living in my family ends with me. I am starting a new generation of uncommon beings. It starts with my example. My standards are greater. My work ethic is higher. My consistency is forever. My attitude is relentless. I don't see what is. I believe in what will be. I don't think about those who can't, those who won't, or those who didn't. I dream of what I can do. I believe anything is possible. And every single day, I push for the impossible. I am an uncommon human being. Most people quit. I refuse to quit. Most people do the minimum. I push beyond the maximum. I go above and beyond. Most people take the easy road. I take the growth road. It's all uphill, and that's how I want it. Most people complain and blame. I look inward and ask, what can I do better? Most people settle. I never settle. I never settle. I never settle. My standards are greater. My work ethic is harder. My consistency is forever. My attitude is relentless. I am an uncommon being.